I like to discuss in one technology's RVMC-3100 upgrade kit. That's going to be the USI F80 replacement controller. Typically works in models 30, 3114, 19, 20, 3129, 30, 32, 3140, 41. Those are typically the models that will use the uh, F80 replacement kit. Let's talk a little bit about the board and some of the features. Here's our control board. Um, that's a direct replacement for the F80 base machines. Um, typically, most of these machines are MDB anyway, but there is a uh, pulse bill validator and a micro mech changer header on the board in case your machine does a, come equipped with uh, a dumb mech and a pulse validator. But from my understanding, most of them are typically MDB. Um, here's your keypad connector at the bottom of the board. It takes your standard 13 pin keypad. You have your micro USD which is for firmware upgrades or saving a configuration and transfer to like model machines. The service mode button can be either gray or yellow. Coming up the uh, left side of the board here, we have J9 drop sensor connection. And above that is a two-part motor harness. So the motor harness is literally from here to here. It's, it's two pieces. It's this piece and this piece combined and the gap would be a key that would match your factory harness. Above that you're going to have a door switch. Your machine may or may not have one. Typically most USIs don't. Uh, the incoming power is right at the top of the board. It's a, it's a three position connector. It fits perfectly from the factory harness. Um, to the right of that you have a DEX connection which we include a new DEX port <clears throat> and a couple screws that you could uh, um, attach your DEX port wherever you like. Um, and then at the top we have MDB and that's where you're going to plug in the adapter cable in the kit. This is the 11-1700-14. It will plug directly to MDB on the control board on one side and then the opposite side of the cable this will plug in to the original MDB connector that went to the original factory board. It's a seven pin connector. It looks like pin number two is keyed. Uh, let's see. Uh, to mount the board, there's some, you know, some metal ferrules to uh, uh, mount the board to the machine. We include a new display. This is a Lucite display lens. You have to remove the, the plastic backing. That's a clear display lens, and here's a, a, a filler plate that makes it a nice finished look once the machine and display are mounted. Um, and then the last part to this kit would be the uh, factory iVent sensor cable. This cable is similar to the one used in the USI SM36 kit, but it's different. So please make note of that. This is the 11-1700-15 cable that's used with the F80 board and the 11-1700-36 is used with our versatile replacement board. Um, so to use this cable, if your machine does have factory IVN sensors, you can plug this cable with a male header directly into the optical sensor connection on your machine. Uh, please note that some machines do have a small jumper cable, 4 to 5 inches. You might want to remove that ahead of time and then plug the adapter cable directly into the end of the harness that goes directly to the optical sensors. Um, and then we got to power the sensors. So the green and the brown wire will plug into J6 Micromech. I'll show you that right here on the board. You go to J6 Micromech. And you see a couple keys there, so I'm going to rotate this cable so the, you can see how the keys line up. And that will plug directly to the micro mech header on the control board, and that will supply power to the factory sensors. The second connection you're going to make is going to be for the optical uh, connection. That's a black and white wire. And that's going to plug over here on the board where it says J9 drop sensor. And I'm just going to rotate that cable. It has 
guides on either side so it only can plug in one way and I'll plug that cable directly into the board so that's your optical sensor connection and then this is heading off to your machine um, optical sensors and then what you're going to want to do is find switch number four at the top of the board here these switches are all in the off position when they're pushed up find switch number four and push it down and that'll activate your sensors and then step two is to go into the options menu um, and find motor stop and set that for either drop or both.